Hello guys, again, this is Paul Oscar from Laravel Daily Team, and this is episode 2 of a TV show, YouTube show, which I decided just to call Laravel Daily. I will try to share my daily thoughts on what's happening in the life of our team, including Laravel stuff, both technical and business, and episode 2 is about uh, why Laravel. So, a quick example from my own uh, experience yesterday. Yesterday I had a talk with a potential client and they asked me why Laravel, why do I work with Laravel, why should they choose me as or my team as a Laravel developer, because uh, they come from a background which is more front end -y, so they know about Bootstrap, about uh, front-end themes, uh, and uh, I suggested to use Laravel and they asked why. And they don't know about Laravel, they don't know about frameworks or uh, differences between Laravel or WordPress, for example. So how do you convince the client to use Laravel, that you would use Laravel? Uh, and how do you answer that why question? So I will give you uh, three reasons, basically. There are three reasons uh, why Laravel is good enough and how do you convince the client. So number one is Laravel is mature. It's old enough, uh, it's not a newcomer on the market, it recently celebrated five years uh, since the beginning, uh, five years, five versions of the framework, so currently it's 5.4. Uh, it actually has been criticized lately for being so uh, often upgraded, so for example people who learned Laravel 4, they have to relearn kind of uh, to, to use Laravel 5.4, so that's a downside, but still, uh, like the framework is mature enough and the latest milestone is uh, 20 million downloads. It's like huge numbers and uh, that's the reason number one, so framework is not new, it's not like one day thing like um, JavaScript frameworks uh, trend or, or anything like that. It should be, uh, like it should stay on the market long enough. So that's the number one reason for the client. So imagine the client, they don't know about Laravel and they want reliability. Um, matureness of the framework is one of the best uh, best proofs of uh, reliability and uh, staying long enough for the future. Reason number two is community. Uh, again, that comes with uh, years of, uh, of framework uh, history. So there are enough of developers, topics, tutorials, Stack Overflow threads, uh, videos, YouTube channels, uh, information, and all of that community uh, of people basically behind Laravel. So if you go on Twitter, uh, especially the Twitter actually is really uh, active as as developers are developers are really active on Twitter in general, and Laravel developers included. So if you go on Twitter and search for Laravel, you will get like thousands of tweets per day. I I do know that because I do uh, read them from time to time too to use uh, on my Laravel daily newsletter every Thursday. Uh, so yeah, the whole community thing is quite huge. You can come up uh, and Google the numbers, how many Stack Overflow threads, how many, um, how many YouTube videos, and you can provide those numbers to your clients, uh, including like developers on Upwork or TopTal or whatever platform, whatever job board it is. A uh, client can find uh, developers even if, uh, for example, you don't deliver, fingers crossed, but uh, if something goes wrong, they can find other developers pretty easily these days uh, compared to like, I don't know, Zen Framework or, or lesser known like HPHP. Laravel is like, there are a lot of developers. Uh, so yeah, that's reason number two is community. And reason number three is tools ecosystem. So the whole ecosystem of Laravel tools, I call them tools, that includes packages. So there are a lot of packages created, like tens of thousands from what I know. Uh, then there's the whole ecosystem uh, created by, by Taylor himself. So it's Laravel Forge, Envoyer, Laravel Spark, uh, what else? What did I forget? Uh, including Laracon, it's not a tool, but I forgot it in the community section. So yeah, the whole ecosystem of tools, which actually in client's language, it means uh, reliability again uh, and speed, speed of development. So you can use like various packages, generators, including our own quick admin panel. Uh, so a lot of tools which uh, allow clients to deliver quicker and with more reliability. So to recap how to convince the client to use Laravel, it's uh, mature enough, old enough, 
it's it has big community, a lot of developers and people around the community, including Laracon and conferences. And number three, it has a big ecosystem of existing tools which help to deliver quicker. So that's quick thoughts for today, and I uh, hope to see you in the next episode three tomorrow, hopefully, of Laravel Daily Channel. See ya.